from Rio Virgo to your August Astro Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Okay, my friends, let's get started. Okay, guys, we have a big auspicious month going on right now. We do have uh, July 28th through August 12th being the Lion's Gate opening and closing. And, of course, the portal itself will be wide open on on August 8th, right, being that 8-8 portal. Um, then we do have the blue moon on the 19th, um, another big auspicious moon, uh, super moon going on. And then, of course, we have everybody's favorite Mercury retrograde. August, it's starting to open and turn on August 4th, and then will be, be completely in effect on August 14th through the 28th. Shouldn't be too bad, guys. Of course, it's still going to mess with your electronics, your mail, your this, your that. You might even have some excess still coming through, but I don't see it being too, too bad. Um, it's pretty much almost the same time as it was last year, um, between that end of the Leo season, going straight into that Virgo season. Okay, so it will have some grounding in it, though. That's, you know, I think that's always what's good with that Mercury there, um, is talking about having that, Vir that Virgo grounding, right? But it also has that fiery, loyal piece of Leo. That's why I want to, you know, make sure that you understand you could have people who want to come back, um, okay, your exes, things of that nature, coming back, wanting to give you that ultimate, impulsive, radiant, I'm so loyal, love to you, right? Take me back, I love you. Okay? <laughs> okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. This message is coming out. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. So remember, it's not just only this, right? This is only one piece of the puzzle. Okay, best message is coming out. Roll them dice. Got that north node coming out into the seventh house with some Gemini energy. Got a few people with that north node coming out. That north node, that destiny really wants to get in there. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. We've got, using the north node, we are going to go ahead and use that Vesta because it's talking about that soul. This is about that soul's mission. It's about that destiny. It's about those karmic lessons, right? So let's see, pushing you on that path to destiny, the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. Doing a Gemini style over here, the energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative, stimulating exchange is possible. Going straight to the seventh house. house is this is the area of your life that is about long-term significant partners or romance or business or family gotta love this one because it's kind of like hitting all the buttons right we're talking about that romance that business that family that friendship that business partners okay so make sure to use your discernment when it comes to the situation if anything doesn't resonate go ahead and throw that away it's meant for someone else not always you Okay, so let's get in here and see what's going on. Going straight to the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. And if you guys are looking for those are the personal readings, go ahead and hit me up. Okay. Um, you can find all of everything that you're looking for in the description area under the video. Solar plexus coming out with the intentions. Refusing to see the situation. Well-deserved rewards in reverse. So it was almost like the grass is not green or where you're going. Somebody is refusing to see that we're having issues over here, whether it's financial or whether it's love-related, but you are, but they're keeping their intentions. It's kind of crazy because it really does feel like it's someone else. Um... Man, that's crazy, guys. Seriously.
So let's get some cards over here and see what's going on. Almost feels like there's some kind of disagreement when it comes to this love situation, partner situation, it could be family situation. It could be a boss who's not agreeing with you or refusing to see that this is not the way things are going to make money. Okay, so we do definitely have some unfocused. You can't tell me they weren't, un they have the intentions to want to do something or you have the intentions to want to do something, but they're so unfocused that it's almost like it's pulling everything away and they're in disregard for any kind of consequence. I'm telling you, it's them. Let's see how you feel about the situation. Clarify on their situation based on how they feel about the situation. You're keeping the magic alive. You're saying there's infinite possibilities of you just wake up to see what's going on within the situation. But since you want to stay asleep, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. Wake up and see the truth. Yes. There could be beauty. There could be love. There could be all these things. You're following your heart. There could be all these, you know, these um, magical moments that could be happening for you and this person if they would just listen. They would just wake up if they would just follow their own heart. Come to the, it's kind of like come to the understanding of what's going on and taking place within this situation is not leading to the happiness. It's not leading to financial financial success. The well-deserved record um, over there is the Nine of Pentacles. So it's saying, you know, if they believe the relationship in itself, a love relationship is doing good, you're saying you're fooling yourself. You know, there, there is not this inner happiness. There is no real fulfillment. The grass is dead over here. Okay. So definitely disagreeing on how this is moving and what's really going on. It almost feels like somebody may be disillusioned by the situation, thinking everything is hoity-toity when it's not. Okay. the devil to rest putting the devil to rest but there's still no real sunshine over here it's still causing yeah there it is because they they're they don't they're it's like mm. you have the tower in reverse so that's like personal transitions so it's almost like well i'm gonna walk away from the situation for my own happiness and joy because i you know what i'm reconsidering what's going on because I have to get to my own victory over here. So it's almost like you're making, you're making the tower or they're making a tower. Someone is making this tower for their own personal right. I believe it's you because they won't see what's going on. So the only way to get your happiness and to get out of this storm over here is to release the master, the toxicities, the restraints, all the things that don't make you happy because all it's doing is causing a cloud okay and it does feel like they're super negative where you want to be super positive so it does feel like you're like before this all really hits the fan and the shit really goes down because if you have that tower right side up every right guys come on guys you guys know tarot that means the universe steps in and says i don't want this it'll be worse so you're going to take this personal transition Walk away and separate yourself from the situation because you're saying it can't get any better than this. That's it. It's over. Defeat. Collapse. I'm going to take this painful ending because this will be better. If I allow the universe to do it, boy, it'll be so much worse. But it's always needed, right? It's like that needed. I need this personal transformation, though, to get to my turning stone. So is it really that bad, though? Right? We have to say, is it really that bad? Because it's not. It's not, right? Why is it not that bad? Because it's needed. If you want to move on, you have to take the tower. The towers are there not to scare people, not to harm people, but to help people move from comfort zones. You're aware that this has become their comfort zone. You're aware that this is not going to get any better, so you're removing yourself. See, again, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Removing yourself from the situation. They're either living beyond their, their wildest dreams, thinking everything is okay. Refusal to see the this, this situation. Someone's delusional. And they could be delusional because of fear. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is also a card of fear. And then, of course, you have the devil as well, which is also fear. 
So to walk away from the situation, you have to trust in life, and you're saying, this is where I have to take a blind faith to get my happiness. There it is. You know what you need to do. And there's the tower at the bottom. Don't tell me. Because what was foreseen coming? The tower. And what'd you say? I'm going to take the tower before the tower hits. Can't make that up, right? That's what was unforeseen. Releasing the situation, transitioning, letting go, allowing the healing process to begin, and listening to the intuition. What are they doing? I just want to know, really, and, you know, I usually don't dig deep like that, but I just kind of do because it's a lot about them and the way they're making you feel and doing things. They will not change their focus. They are sticking to their to their roots over here and living in the past. Not going to let the past go. They're going to continue to try to drive this stake into this railroad. That's the vision I have. Trying to fix the railroad tracks no matter what so that the train will not derail. You're not allowed to go. They want you to stay on the same track. They want you to open up, come back, and give away your power. They say, you've got too much control and stop being in so much boss mode. Are you aware of the situation? The aware of the situation is that we are succeeding and we are growing and you're saying, you're, I'm sorry, this is delusional. Where's my seven of, where's my seven of, uh, huh, where's my seven of pentacles? Or seven of cups, excuse me. I didn't mean to say pentacles, seven of cups, you know, or the moon. Because in serious, this is delusional behavior. This information that they're popping out to you is so delusional, and you know it, yep, that it's causing the more challenging times to a situation to where you're not even having the desires. You're like, I don't even have the desire. I was putting on the intentions to try to fix the situation at the beginning of the month, but you're so delusional, I can't even work with this. You're causing me a lot of sadness and heartache, and this is all about imbalance. There's so much unfairness going on in the way that they're acting, but they want to keep continuing to reach out to you because they believe that they could succeed within the situation, even though there, there's no real happiness and joy between the two of you or within this situation with the two of you. However, this situation is, it's caused about choosing your own battles so that you can just, you know, have your wake up call, keeping yourself in peaceful content over here and seeking the truth and having the self-awareness of the situation knowing where your destiny is karma there goes that north node boom saying this is where the destiny is this is the karmic lesson that i was learning was that this is not going to do what it needs to do observing this situation to try to find the balance that you have bringing in a new vitality my friends so that way you can manifest what you have because it's saying right now everything is in disarray and they're keeping it in disarray for false hope and false dreams Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, it says you will find your truth and seek the truth yourself, right? Giving back to what it is you truly need within the situation. Do not allow the past mistakes to be your crossroad. Make your decisions for you because that's exactly what they're doing, okay? They're making decisions for you that are unhealthy, unhealthy decisions, okay? Definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, or a Libra, could be anybody, but those are the signs that I do see. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.